Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on our Color Wednesday blog post for February 24th, 2016. This adorable image is from Sassy Cheryl's Stamps and it's called Baker's Assistant. I will put a link down in the description box to the stamp if you would like to head over and grab one and color with me. That would be great. If you have a question, leave me a comment in the comment box and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I printed my image um, on Nina 80 pound Solarite cardstock, so let's color. So let's start out by doing the ground. For that, we're gonna use E43 and 42. And we're not gonna do too much because I'm gonna cut my image out to put on my um, Saturday card, so I don't want to take up too much space. But I'm gonna go right along the edge with my E43. And just add a little bit of a shadow underneath some of this stuff. Underneath of our bowl. And let's go over here, underneath the bowl, bring that out a little bit, and I can cut right around that. And then I'm going to take my E42, and I just want to soften the edges, so I'm just going to go up just a little bit past that. And I want to bring this up past the frosting or batter or whatever you want to call that. I called it frosting. He's making cake. Well, he's taking a break after making the cake. Then I'm going to go back with my E43 and just add a little bit of that back in. Let's do the dog next. For that, we'll use E23, 35, 31, and 30. I'm going to start with my E23. And let's give his shoulder on this side just a little bit of color there in the in the where it's touching the bowl. And then over here, we're going to go down the inside of his arm or his his paw and his arm over here on this side. I'm going to bring this color down and along the edge. Then I'm going to grab E35. And I want to soften that up just a little bit. So I'm going to flick. Let me turn my guy here a little bit. Easier to hold my pin sideways if I've got it tipped here a little bit. And then I want to go with E31. Bring this color up. Fill that in with my E30. And I'm going to brush my pen clear across the entire section. I got a little bit of a line, so I think I'll go backwards towards the dark, kind of push it all together. Then let's go up here and we'll work on his head. So again, I've grabbed E23 first. And he's got a little bit of his ear down here, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in a little bit. And then let's come right along the edge. Like that. And then for this ear over here, I'm going to do a little dab away from his face. And then I'm going to go with E35. E31. And then E30 to fill it in. And then again, I'm going to brush all the way across. 
And then I got a little bit of a line, so I'm going to brush down towards the dark. Kind of blend those colors back together. And for the top of his head, let's go with E23 again. And I want to bring this color right along his snout, up here to his nose. But then I also want to brush this up just a little bit onto his face. And then next is E35. And then E31. And then my E30 to fill it in. Okay, then we're going to go down here and we're going to do his belly. So I'm going to grab E31. I want it to be a little bit lighter, so we're going to start with E. We're going to do our two lightest colors, so E31 and then E30 to fill it in. And then for his face right here, we're going to start again with our E31. And I want it to be, have some whiskers, so I'm going to start with my E31 up here. And I'm going to kind of brush my pen down towards the bottom, but I want my strokes to go in the direction his face is going. So kind of keep your pen going in kind of a curve. And down here, same thing. I want it to kind of curve with his beard. We'll call it a beard. His face here. Like that. And then I'm going to take my E30 and I'm going to do the same thing. brush my strokes in the same direction. And then I'm going to go back again with my E31. And make, whoops, that's not E31. Wrong color. E31. <laughs> that's way too dark. So I guess he's going to have a couple of dark streaks on that side. And put in a couple of little whiskers down here on the bottom. And I think I'll do a little bit more longer ones over here where it's tipped down. For his nose, let's use W9, 7, 5, and 3. I'm going to start with my W9, and I'm just going to give this side of his nose just a little dab of that color in the corner there. And then I'm going to grab W7, same thing, we'll just add a little bit more. And then W5. And then we'll fill it in with W3. Since we already have the W's out, let's go down here and do the sifter next. For that, we're still going to use W9, 7, 5, and 3, but we're going to add W2 and W1. I'm going to start with my W9 first. And let's do, let me turn my picture here. I'm going to do a skinny line right along the bottom of my sifter. Kind of bring it a loop, kind of a little dip up on each end there, except for down here. And then I also want it to come around over here too. Mm, there's a little section right here that kind of bumps out a little bit, but I want it to kind of curve in, so I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. Then I'm going to go with W7. Um, oh, whoops. Let me grab w, W9 again, and let's do this handle up here a little bit. Give it a little dab of color right there before I forget. Now W7. And then we're going to use this color to fill in a little bit more of our can. And then W5. Bring this up a little bit more. W3. Bring this over here underneath the ladybug. And then I'm going to color this handle right here black. So I'm going to flick right over the top of it because we're going to use our W9 to um, color that in. Let's go right along the edge there. Next is W2, and I'm going to fill in the rest of our handle. And I'm also going to do this edge of, the, of our sifter right here. And then we're going to 
fill it in the rest of the way. Whoops, the rest of the way with our W1. And so I don't go out of the lines, I'm going to brush back down towards the dark. And then I'm going to take my W9 and fill in the handle. And it's really skinny, so be careful. And then that little dot. And then I'm going to take E23 and do this little circle right here. And that cute little ladybug I think we'll leave till later. Let's do the top of the sugar bowl and the bottom of the bowl and the other side of this bowl with E81 and E40. I'm going to start with my E81. And let's go ahead and just brush some of this color over here away from our boy. And we're going to brush away from this corner. I'm going to bring it right along the edge of the bowl here. And then I'm going to bring it right along the edge of this. Kind of swipe away from that frosting or batter, whichever you want to call it there. And then for the sugar bowl, let's do right here, the other side of the spoon. And then this over here, we're going to go right along like this. And then for the bowl, let's do... This is why we left the ladybug for later, because I'm like, oh, we're going to paint him red, and I didn't want to touch him on accident. I'd have red everywhere, me and red. And then we'll bring this color over here. And I also want to go underneath the lip of the bowl. And then I'm going to go with E40. E40. We're going to brush up here, brush on the lid. And then we're going to brush right across the top of this bowl. And if I didn't, I don't think, I didn't fill it in all the way last time. I just kind of brushed across it and then left it like that. So let's do the sugar bowl and the lip of the bowl on the mixing bowl next. For that, we're going to use BG 78, 75, 18, and 72. So I'm going to start with my BG 78, and let's do the sugar bowl first. And I didn't want to give it too much, so I'm just going to give it a little thin line down the edge of the bowl and along this edge of the bowl. Give me a little starting point. And then I'm going to go with BG75, and I want to brush this out just a little bit. I didn't want to cover up the words too much, so it, I didn't want them to be um, concealed, so I kind of avoided those. I didn't scrub over them quite as far as I thought I might. And I'm going to bring this color underneath the lip of the lid. Next, let's go with BG18. And this is a little bit lighter, so I wasn't too worried about covering up some of the letters. Let's get along the bottom and the top of the lid. And then BG72 to fill it in. And then we'll go up here and do the lip of the bowl, too. So let's start with BG78. Um, and then we're going to do a little dab over here. And we're going to go up here underneath of our puppy. And along this arm. We have a little bit of space there for our 75. And same thing, we're going to go down here along his arm along the top of the bowl, and then we want to go around this frosting, or batter, whichever you want it to be. Now I'm going to brush this color away just a little bit here. And then I'm going to go across the lip of the bowl. And I'm going to give it a little indentation right here where it kind of dips in. I'm going to come in with my color. Okay, and then we're going to go with BG75. I'm going to fill this section over here in. And we're going to brush on each of these sections. And 
and then BG18. And then our BG72 to fill it in. For the spoon, let's use E53 and E50. I'm going to start with E53, and I should have done this top on the sugar bowl with my browns or my grays while I had them out, but we'll get those next. So we're going to go right along the bottom here, and then I want to swoop up just a little bit more with my E53 on the spoon down here. And then I'm just going to fill it in with E50. And I'm going to give it a little bit more of my E53 just to darken it up. So let's do the little top on the sugar bowl here. For that, we're going to use W97 and 3, and then we'll do the ladybug over here with R37. So I'm going to take my W9 first for the lid, or the little cap, and then I'm going to dab another little bit of W7, and then W3 to fill it the rest of the way in. And then we'll take our R37 over here to fill in our ladybug. So that leaves us with the frosting or the batter, whichever you want to call it, and I'm going to do it red. So we're going to use R35, 43, and 21. I'm going to start with my R35, and I'm going to color in down here on the edge of the bowl. I'm going to bring my, my color over here to the edge like that. And then for this frosting up here, we're going to brush away from this X section. And we're going to do the same thing on this top part. We're going to do this side. Then we're going to go with R43. And then we're going to fill it in with our R21. So there is our adorable baker's assistant image all colored up. Didn't it turn out cute? Uh, if you would like to see the finished card, you can head over to the store blog on February 28, 2016, and you can see what I did with this cute little image. Remember, if you have a question, leave me a comment, and I will make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring with me today, and we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.